Welcome to Transcom Education. I'm Oscar Stringer, an Apple Distinguished Educator, providing Apple professional development in schools. This is a series of short videos demonstrating tips and tricks for teachers using the iPad in the classroom. This third video will show you a selection of apps for exploring maths with your students. Here we have a wide selection of maths apps from the App Store. And what I want to do is group them together in a folder. So by tapping and holding one finger on any app until it starts to dance, and we have the cross icon in the top left, this gives me two options to either delete the app or move them and create a folder. So by tapping and dragging, I can move one app on top of the other. And this creates a folder. And I can just rename that folder. So I shall call this Maths Apps. And I can just select, tap, select and drag the apps into the folder. And I have filled the folder with Maths Apps. And tap the Home button again, and that stops the apps from, from wiggling. So the first app I'm going to use for my selection is called Quick Math. And this app was 69 pence. And I'm gonna select Beginner. And now it's just doing a quick demonstration of how the Math app works. So essentially, this is one of those apps that allows the students to practice. Addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, just going through a series of very simple exercises. So a way of getting the students to think quickly, working against the clock, with an element of competition, if you like. So a very, very simple maths app for practice. Now this next app is around shapes and spatial awareness. And you can see here, we have a list of different shapes and solids. And I've selected cube and I can tap and move the cube around to understand its shape. And then I can tap in two corners and create a plane running and moving through those corners. And I can tap and drag on that plane if I want to. I'm gonna go back and select two more corners. So an interesting app that could be used either by the teacher at the front of the class or by the students. So you can see we have lots of different shapes that the students can work with. Here's another one. Tap on two sides, move it around. I get a sense of the shape. Now if I tap on the arrow in the top right, I can get a description from the info option and read about that shape and formulas associated with that shape. Now here's an app, this is just the sort of, if you like, the light version, it's called Long Division, this app. And this is the light version and it gives you, or gives the students an opportunity by tapping and dragging one number over the others to work through the process of division. And this is working with a decimal point. So what I did was drag the eight onto the 44. That goes in four times, remainder two, eight into 42, and I select how many times that goes. So again, it's allowing the students to practice the process, whoops, of working out long division with a decimal point. And again, this could be used by the teacher at the front of the class, or it could be used by the students practicing process on their own iPads. And this is Calculator Hash. So there are many calculators on the App Store. This was a free download. You can unlock even more features of the calculator by paying a little bit more. And I'm gonna use this to quickly work out the square root of 25. So set the square root, type in 25, equals, and I get the answer in the bottom right. 
So a serious calculator that allows the students to do lots of different things. Again, great for the teacher at the front of the class or maybe for the student. This next app is more of a student app, a bit like the first app that allows the student to practice. So the student can practice addition, subtraction, multiplication, equations of all sorts. And I just start by entering my name as the student, tap save and tap play and I'm off. And again, I'm kind of working against the clock. I'm having to look at the sum, work out what it is. So working, if you like, working out sums in my head. There is the option obviously to use the chalkboard for explanation. And there is a free version of this app, or well, this app costs about two pounds. So there is a wide selection of, of math apps, but there are plenty of apps on the App Store for math teachers. For other great app ideas, and to find out ways of using the iPad effectively in your school, contact Transcom Education.